G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, as the title says, Ethereum is doomed unless they can fix this issue and they've got to fix it quick. Gas prices at the moment are offensive. There's no other way to put it. They are absolutely offensive. You know, everyone's excited about this ETH 2.0 and all the rest of it. And don't get me wrong, I'm excited as well. But unfortunately, from everything that I've read and heard, it, the first part of ETH 2.0 is nothing more than staking, really. Staking's going to be great, but it's not going to help anyone if gas prices remain as high as they are. This morning I tried to uh, do some stuff on Kyber Dow uh, and Synthetics, and it was $39.80 something to do a transaction on both Synthetics and uh, Kyber Dow. Now that's Australian dollars, so US dollars, I'm gonna say that's around about sort of, you know, $30. But if you aren't trading hundreds of, you know, but thousands, let's say thousands. If you aren't trading thousands of dollars, the fees are just astronomical and that will cut the regular user out. The regular user cannot afford to use Ethereum. They just plain and simply can't. And I'm anything but rich and I can't afford to use Ethereum right now. Like I went, I wanted to collect, uh, you know, I stake my uh, Kyber uh, and I got my uh, Kyber rewards. I can't afford to get them. I cannot afford to get them. I haven't even got my reward isn't enough to cover the uh, gas prices. <laughs> and when I tried to do it this afternoon, so this morning when I went to do it, very early in the morning, Australian time, it was nearly $40. I went to do it about 15 minutes ago. It's now nearly $80 Australian. Nearly $80 to just do a transaction. Now that was both on, on Kyber Network and also on Synthetics Network. It is unbelievable and you know, if anyone from Ethereum watches this video, you are going to lose out big time unless you get onto that quick smart. Staking is going to be great, I'm sure, for the, you know, the mega rich who can afford the gas prices. No one else will be able to afford it. No average day Joe is going to be able to afford $80 per transaction. No way in hell. We'll have a look at this article. The price of Ether is back to making uh, its way to $400 level, it's down from that. Uh, as it hovers around 391 in the green with just 840 million trading in the past 24 hours. The second largest digital asset is up 200% year to date and about 290% since the March sell off. But what's not good for Ethereum is extremely high transaction fees that have been rising throughout 2020. Ethereum's average transaction uh, fee has spiked more than 3,636% since the beginning of this year. And here was a tweet uh, by uh, the, at Moon Overlord. At this rate next week, it's going to cost one ETH to send one ETH. <laughs> and that's about right. That is nearly where it's at at the moment. It is ridiculous. According to Etherscan on August 10th, a record of 9,332 ETH in transaction fees was paid, except for on two occasions on June 10 and 11, uh, due to a couple of transactions that paid million dollars in fees. The average pro gas price has also skyrocketed, surging to 118 uh, guay, recording an increase of 915% since earlier this year. Now I can tell you, if you can get a uh, Guay at 118, you're doing well. I was looking before and it was 180 was the slow, 190 was the standard and 200 was the fast. Ethereum, they are going to get absolutely steamrolled by things like Cosmos Network, Cosmos Network, Cardano, you know, even EOS, they might come out of nowhere. Uh, you know, Polkadot, Ethereum, while I'm hanging for staking as well, I've got my Ethereum ready to go to be staked. I couldn't afford to stake it. Not at $80 per transaction. And it's only going to go up. It's only going to get worse. That is the problem at the moment. Ethereum, their network is so banked up. And it says here, from three from 37.2 billion on January 1st, gas usage has reached 77.8 billion on August the 10th. Since late June, it has been uh, keeping above 70 billion. So it's doubled. 
Uh, and it's only going to get more as this all starts to kick in and you know the bull run really starts to go people will jump into ethereum at first and then as soon as they realize they can't even afford to take their ethereum off the exchanges they're going to sell it for something else uh, and ethereum is going to crash so hard and i am i'm worried now and unfortunately i don't have much ethereum at all on exchanges so i it's not that i couldn't if i really wanted to take the you know 70 80 dollar hit i could send my ethereum back to the exchange and cash it all in i don't want to do that and i'm not trying to fight and hate on ethereum but at the moment those fees as i said earlier they are offensive to the average day user no one is going to be able to afford to do that you have now priced everyone out so I mean if Ethereum is just going to be for the mega rich wealthy and governments and things like that I guess they can afford it but the average day user and I'm one of them I'll have to be out I'll have to sell my Ethereum at some stage I just I, I can't do anything with it if it's going to cost me a hundred even forty dollars even twenty dollars even ten dollars if it's ten dollars per transaction short of me selling sending thousands of dollars there's no way I could afford it. My Ethereum would get eaten up in a matter of weeks. Come on, Ethereum. This has to be fixed. This is really, really bad and has me really, really worried for Ethereum, and particularly because I've put, you know, nearly 30% of what I've put into crypto into Ethereum. Oh, not quite. About 25%. I've got about 40 five percent in Bitcoin. I've got about 25% in Ethereum. And then I've got about 15% uh, in XRP and then I've got the leftover in a whole stack of uh, sort of alts but Ethereum that is bad that is oh so bad now let's go over to CoinGecko we'll just refresh to see where we're at we can see that uh, that was 354 billion uh, 357 so we've jumped up a little bit but we were at 360 billion uh, in, in the whole market cap just yesterday now we can see that it's down and Bitcoin has gone down as well. It's forming a little bit of a rally back. We were down around, I think, 11,200, maybe 11,200 uh, earlier. And now we're starting to bounce back up. But as I was saying just the other day, Bitcoin is really only going to do really well if stocks kind of do really well. If stocks start to sell off, guess what Bitcoin does? it starts to sell off as well and I can prove it let's go over here this is the S&P 500 what happened here this is today so there's been a sell-off sell-off in the S&P 500 Bitcoin sell-off in Bitcoin we are unfortunately still I wouldn't say highly but we are definitely correlated to the stock market, particularly the S&P 500. Now we can see there's a bit of a rally here and maybe we can rally right back up and regain all this, but I'm not sure at the moment. You know, there's a lot of people saying that the stock market's gonna have a second crash and I saw an article earlier, excuse me, earlier uh, from allegedly Warren Buffett saying that he believes there's gonna be a second crash. And well, this is it and what we can see is that we hadn't quite reached the peak of where we were before the pandemic started. So we got oh so close, and then we had this big fall off, and then all this stimulus started to work, and now we've started to fall off again. Now, I'm not saying that we're just going to crash from here. I don't know what the stock market's going to do, and, and I don't know exactly what crypto is going to do. But what I can tell you is if the stock market, and i.e. the S&P 500, has a, a good retracement, get ready because Bitcoin's going to do the same now how far it will fall I don't know we'll have to wait and see I would be hoping that at worst are we going to get down to around the ten and a half thousand dollar mark but it would not surprise me if I zoom out and we get the whole chart in here if we maybe fall down to around about the eight thousand possibly even the six thousand dollar range if we have a really big sell-off in the stock market Bitcoin could definitely follow suit now I'm not saying it's going to do that but We've already seen, we had this big sell-off and we've had a fairly a reasonable size sell-off in the stock market as well. So it's unfortunate, but we are still yep, tied to the S&P 500. How much of co that correlation we have, I'm no expert, I can't tell you. But when you basically look at the Bitcoin chart, 
Here we go, we fall off, sell off, trade a bit sideways, pump up, sell off, sell off, pump up, trade a bit sideways, sell off. Does look quite similar. Not identical, not exactly the same, definitely not. But yeah, you can't say that it's not uncanny how related they are. Well, I wish I had better news today, but unfortunately today has not been a great day for me uh, in the crypto space. Obviously, pretty much everything is down. Uh, not a lot is doing well. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if I click on here, there's gonna be some things that have done well. Well, there you go, Compound's done all right, Ampleforth, Maker, so there have been a couple of winners. Uh, can't do anything with Ave, can't do anything with Maker, can't do anything with Synthetics. Uh, it's all on the Ethereum network, and unless you're, again, dealing in thousands of dollars, yeah, just can't do it. The gas prices are too high. So I have Ave, I have Maker, I have Synthetics, I have Chainlink, I have Ren, all on the sort of Ethereum network. Can't, well, not so much. I don't know if Chainlink's on the Ethereum network. Uh, that's pretty bad of me. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, I, I know they're, I think they were supposed to be chain agnostic, aren't they? I'll have to have a further look into that. But anyway, I can't do anything with these others. It just costs too much. And the 11%, that wouldn't help me with the basically near $80 gas fees that are going on at the moment. Same with Arve and Maker and all the rest of it. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too long. Uh, disappointing day uh, in my eyes uh, in the crypto space. And yes, these Ethereum gas prices, they are an issue. I think this is what Ethereum really needs to be focusing on. Don't worry about the staking. Staking won't help the average day, uh, the average Joe, uh, if you just price them out of it. And Ethereum, for it to really be adopted mainstream, you need the little people to be able to use it. And we just cannot afford to use it at the moment. Well, anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on the gain train. Uh, it was definitely there, but hopefully it wasn't all Ethereum-based and you can't do anything with it. I'll see you next time.